Can you help her with that? Oh, you know what? No, I got it. Um, right. I bought you guys gifts. You do got it. You did? Well, gifts. I bought you a bottle of my champagne. Okay, there we go. That is always and good. I Wonderful. I bought you a bottle of Alizé. Alizé. Oh, oh, oh. And you mix them together and uh-huh. you get the experience. That's it. And I bought you guys a book. Okay, great. great the Wendy great. Williams experience. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know, I don't think I've been to a, a funner environment. That, that radio station, your radio station your... is just a party. This is like a morgue compared to that. <laughs> this place is very anal. Yeah. yeah. How about tenuous. you, Wendy? Well, you ever go that route? What? You know. Well, I was just mentioning the station is kind of anal sometimes. Yeah. On special occasions. Oh, really? <laughs> With enough Alizé? Happy <laughs> birthday, honey. But crazy <laughs> thing is, husband's in the kitchen and it's the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Rudy? What'd Some you say? respect. Oh, Mike. Oh, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was wondering. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there, right. there it is. All right, good. Okay. Mike's I noticed her balls right. came out. Yes. You know, the thing is, is that, um, are you guys good at interviewing? Like, when this one like start, um... I forget that, you know, all the rules. So what? Do your thing. Okay. Just have fun, you know? Right. Are we, wait a minute. I thought you listened to the show. No, I listened to your show. Right. Oh. But I'm saying sitting here and interviewing, mm-hmm. like, you know, I mean, I'm on the other side of the mic. That's it's like thing. weird. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. okay. No, please, I listen to you guys But you've hung time. with us before, so it doesn't matter. We're what just you, friends. Okay. First of all, um, the thing about playing basketball and the, the ball bouncing off your toe. Mm. Yeah, it was me. That Elvis is. Yeah. yeah. Elvis. Me, thanks. Yeah. I'm 5'11", and I, yeah. and I played, um, I tried out for junior varsity basketball in junior right. high school, and I heard you tell the story, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Worst day of my life. I sat in the beauty supply store parking lot. I wanted to hear the whole story, <laughs> and my whole, all your relatives were there. And yeah. like that. Yeah, that was everybody. the best story of my life. Hearing I'm your like, failures. Yeah, thank I, you. Yeah, know what? you son of a bitch. These are some of my happiest times, yeah. just watching right. you crumble. Watch me okay. cry. Yeah. Oh, bitch. I love it. Thanks. For so, nothing. Wendy, I only have one complaint. Oh, what? Oh, with you, only one. Why? When you're on our show, man, I, it's it, the the door is open and the mic is on, and we can hang as long as you want until yeah. you're tired and you can say what you want. We go over to your place, you liquor us up. We got to yeah. hang. Now the girls we're hanging with were hot. What is the we, deal with all the hot women? We got to hang in the pink office, and then we come in for. Two minutes, right. we're just liquored up, making no sense, <laughs> right. and then you get mad at us. Get the hell out of here. I didn't get mad. I didn't get mad. Uh-huh. It was fun. We were all drinking. Yes. You yes. know what? That was during the VH1 taping time. Yeah. Oh, it was. Okay. Which, you know, the segments, you, we, you, you got to keep it moving. See, you guys don't have to stop and play songs. Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. Which you remember. The audience the, wants us to, but yeah, we're not right. going to do it. We <laughs> like the sound of our own voices. Come on yeah. now. I but do. do you guys remember the days of play 12 songs in a row? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. I mean, radio stations that still play music, as much as I hate it, we're, there's still a certain amount of expectation. Okay, right. I think I play like four songs per hour. Right. And then with the syndication, the, the breaks are timed. Yeah, so I understand. When yeah, I yeah. go into a break here in New York, I could be late. They see, don't care over BLS see, as long as I get it that's done. That's the thing is, you have other stations, we have this, so, yeah, you know, well, don't rub it in. Well, he right. was trying to explain that to me. You know, I'm just drunk, like stumbling down the hallway. And he goes, "Look, she she's got other stations, yeah, and she's got know. big things. You're just a little midday dork in New York. Right? Her audience barely wants to hear you." And I'm just like, "Yeah, but no. <laughs> the, the audience." As a matter of fact, I was surprised. Um, thank you, David Hinckley. We got some love from David Hinckley in yesterday's radio section. I know. Yeah. I but that. didn't Excellent. he promote and say that I was supposed to be on the show today? Yes, as he did. Yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yesterday. Yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Who knows? Yesterday. Yesterday. I think drunk. he said it yesterday yeah. for today. Yeah. yeah I think. Oh, good. Okay. Which would be proper. That yeah. would work. Right. See, he did yeah. his thing. Thanks, David. And the cool right. thing, actually, we did get a, a from being on your show. We did gain some some people. We yeah. have some guys that go, "Hey, man, I, I heard I you heard for you. the first time on Wendy's show." Wow. So uh, I'm hanging with you, right. which That's is right. a nice disservice to your midday guy. Yeah. 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 Well, 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 <laughs> well, that guy says to, he listens too to us. Yeah. Shout out to Eddie Love. Right. Right. He's great. Excuse me, not Eddie. I'm sorry, Guy Black. Oh. Um, <laughs> shout out to you too, though, Eddie. You really know your show. No, 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 no. You know what, Guy does. It's all about you. Well, he's only been there for about six months. Okay. okay. And he's been doing a really good job. All right. But, Is he um, still growing? <laughs> he only came up to my nipples. He was so short. <laughs> yeah, well, he's a sweetheart. No, but he I is, don't yeah. know. If I'm going to do a guy, I want him to be taller than my nipples. Right. Uh, and he had uh, lipstick on. Yeah. Oh, oh, stop. On my nipples. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, I'm sure he knows we're kidding. Of course. So Now, look. So you yeah. guys, I've been just, just trying to figure out the, the place that you guys go with the, the strippers and stuff like that. Is that yeah. the Larry Flint? place no no, no. Mm-hmm. no where do you go uh vip, VIP where yeah. the food the girls are absolutely insane yeah yeah, yeah. what do you have a regular night there we've done uh, a few yeah just you know yeah. when we're horny yeah when we got to get some so get like, some. you know a few times a week right <laughs> how are you adjusting to new york I love it. It's, I hate you know it. what? Oh, I, I love it. it. It really I I'm so beloved. Yeah. yeah. No, he's he's honored and yeah, he's got a plaque, he's got his own statue. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. No problem. No, with all the here. awards that I'm getting and the key to the city and and uh, you know, 
I mean, how could you not be happy? You still make days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. But this is a hot format. Yeah, yeah, it is. Right. Yeah. I check out you guys. I check out Nick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. He said he sounds angry to you. Yeah, he's very angry. Right. Yeah. Oh, very, very, very angry. Right. You know, and then I like the Ron and the Fez. Yes, yeah, they're good. I like them. Now too. they're Ron and Fez, not the Ron and the Fez. Yeah, yeah. but I, uh, you know, <laughs> the Ron. The Ron and the you Fez. like the Fez you know, or the I've Ron? Never, I've never seen them before, but mm. I used to swear because I know that they were at NEW, and I used to check them out on my way home. Yeah, yeah. But the first time around, yeah. and um, I used to think that Fez was the voice of SpongeBob huh? until I really got into SpongeBob, and I said. Well, they still sound alike, but I would imagine he's not the voice of, because when they got let go of here mm -hmm. the first time in New York, I would have come out of the closet with the whole, um, you know, right, it's right. me, yeah. and I don't need radio, yeah. and I'm rich. Right. Mm -mm. Don't you think he sounds like SpongeBob? I never heard. I never heard SpongeBob, so I don't know. Yeah, I didn't get into. Now you said you got into SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, you know, something. I don't know I if you want to admit oh, and yeah. you know she's got interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is your kid seven now? Yeah, six, six, six seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nine Easter eggs this weekend. Did you oh. hear us go off on uh, Miss Jones? Yeah. No, I did not hear it. Yeah, but didn't? I must tell you, the loyal flock who loves us both, me uh -huh. and you, yeah. yeah, they got back at me and they were telling me. So now, what'd you say? They, they were oh, like, we just ripped the hell out of her, dumbass. She's a wannabe. Wendy Williams, right. bitch. Wow. She has no you know, talent. Yeah. Wow. I mean, we just ripped Ow. for a half hour. And then every call you... came in. You know what it was? It was the, uh, white, rapper the white rapper show. I'd never seen it. When he played yeah. that audio, I because was dying when it What her. she wanted yeah. was uh, controversy. You know, she was claiming to know the hip hop game, and of course, a big part of the hip hop game is to have beef with someone. So when we come back after the break, I want you to lay out who you got beef with. Mm. And then, you know, this young, innocent white kid goes, Oh, you mean like you with Clear Channel? And but he didn't know anything. Right. And then so she goes, "Wait a minute, are you trying to disrespect my craft? Because first of all, oh. uh, we have something going on with Clear Channel. So if you think you're coming in to my house oh. and started going off on the guy, and I'm like, oh. you stupid yeah. fat whore, oh. bitch. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you wanted the drama. You want yeah. them to have beef, right, right, but you right. can't even address your own, you skank. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, something yeah. like what yeah. we said. <laughs> No. Yeah. And then I could just tell, you know, her on TV disgusts me, and you you look so good. And I can tell she wants to wear your type she of clothes, but you. it's just gross. And, yeah. and and to crush that much furniture. She's got no style like you do. Wow. Yeah. She's a cow. She's a wannabe. Yeah. It makes wow. me mad when certain people that don't have talent make that kind of money, because I'm sure Morning Drive, she's making big money. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Morning Drive. Yeah. I mean, yeah. New York is And then it was just all calls of people going, oh, I hate her. I yeah. can't stand Ooh, her. Wow. She's yeah. just a windy wannabe. Wow. So, rough. Something like that. We'll take a few phone calls. Well, I've done my job for the yeah. day. Thanks, fellas. Let's go to Malik yeah. in Jersey. Malik, hello. Okay. What? what? Malik, hello. Yo, Wendy Williams. Nice talking to you, Vinny. How you doing? I'm all right. Yo, I know you from Ocean Township. Wow. So, let the guys know that Asbury Park ain't hood just because we put our gun and smoke blood. It's Asbury, the berry, not the fruit shawl. Where he, where we come from, mm -hmm. it's well. You know what? Asbury is pretty brutal right now. I'm still trying to figure out what they're going to be doing with all that property on the waterfront. Like yeah. for years, it's it was supposed to be developed. I was born in Asbury. Okay. Oh, seven seven one two. I live I, there. He lives there too. Do you? Yeah. I, well, I started well, my, uh, my life eight twenty one Central Avenue. Okay. On, in yeah. Asbury. Yeah. Right. And um, I live on Sunset. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to get a room? We're doing an interview here. <laughs> Are you a liar? Because Zach's a big liar. Yeah. I lived on Sunset. He's a Pinocchio. <laughs> Look at how red he got. Here we go. Start shuffling through the papers there. there. Oh, yeah. Wow. This guy. I lived on Sunset till wow. recently, till about a month ago. Wendy, let me ask you a question here, really quick. Okay. I, I don't want to start any drama, but you with the show that you do you're yeah. going to have a lot of opinions you have some huge guests on your show yeah. i mean major That'd major people nice. but you're going to have some opinions <laughs> and then you're going to you know throw out information on people yeah. i'm not going to say any names but zach showed me a little something on the internet where there was an artist that got so mad at you do you worry about that ever no no i mean you know the thing is that first of all said artists are you speaking of method man yeah who i wish the best and yeah. you know i'm sorry to hear i mean he was wife. pissed he uh. he um he first of all i never said anything like that oh you didn't second of all he addressed that what what would what I got was somebody saying that his wife was not doing well. Right. D not doing well with what? I don't know. A yeah, right. cold, mm -hmm. uh, you know, right. a yeah. I don't know what. You right. know what I'm gotcha. saying? Not doing well. Yeah. I got it approximately four to six months prior to him ever saying it. So when all mm -hmm. that stuff came out on the internet, I was like, what is he talking about? I literally had to go through my catalog in my mind right. and mm -hmm. think about where did this come from? Oh, mm -hmm. I see. 
I said she's not doing well. He knew he was going to have an album out that could possibly need an extra boost with some gotcha. beef. I see. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? Has he been on your show before? Oh, yes. He has. He hasn't been on the show since then. And you guys were cool. We've gone in and out of coolness, <laughs> okay. as, as I right. do with... So how do you feel about it now? Because he didn't have kind words to say. I mean, he felt like, I, I need to really tee off here and, and say some things. I mean, he can say what he wants. My beat still goes on. I mean, right. he, he's not stopping my show. Yeah. I mean, Method Man, you know... He, uh, and by the way, his album didn't do that well, but it was a pretty good album. Okay. okay. So right. shout out to you, Method Man. And um, I guarantee he's not listening to this crap. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what? But you never Unless know. he reads David Hinckley, and I'm doubting that, too. And, <laughs> and then, like, um, Andrew Dice Clay, he was yeah. on the... Um, did you watch his show? I watched um, the first two uh, episodes. I watched it when he, he went into uh, the studio Stress? with yeah, you. Yeah, right. yeah. Um, we don't have that much dump, dump button space. He, yeah. got, <laughs> he got pissed off as well yeah. because Charlemagne yes. had attacked his career. Yes. He, Charlemagne had a good, and for the people that don't know Wendy Williams' show, right. listen to her um, long shift, 2 to 7. Yes. Uh, wow. WBLS. Um, Charlemagne had a pretty good uh, comment. He mm. said, there, Jesus Christ is going to come back before your career comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. Yes. <laughs> and he got mad, and he just, oh, everything was all the F and Why do, why do, why do has-beens take it so serious? Just roll with it, you know? Well. Come on now, it's a joke. I know. But you know what? But they turned it around so it looks like he won on his own show, which I appreciated. Yeah. I had right. no problem with that. that I, I because actually, I had seen your show, yeah. and it was a different story. Yeah. And my wife and I were watching. We're like, wait, this yeah. is a whole yeah. different yeah. story yeah. now. Right. <laughs> uh, editing, it's huh? interesting, yeah, how editing works. Yeah. But I like I like his show, though. And I like yeah. his comeback. He's not going to sell it at Madison Square Garden, but I wish no, I wanted to ask you that. And now, Elvis, I, I'm going to differ with you on, on this. I still... Like Dice, I, be, me too. I liked him then, I so I'm not gonna, you know, like all of a sudden turn on him now. Right. The guy had a craft, and it was obviously different than anyone. And yep. and to pick him apart, I, that's just not me. I'm not gonna pick him apart. Okay, but I did want to ask you that. But you know, what's the biggest venue he can sell out now? Stress Factory, Comics, Comics, <laughs> yeah. 14th Street. Thank it you. holds 300 people. 300 what about people. with the, what about with the TV show? I mean, for for some people with with TV oh. shows and the proper promotion. They go from nothing to just massive audience. His I, stuff is the same some, as it was back then. It is, it is the same. And the only people that can appreciate it are people like me and right. you. You're yeah, married. Yeah. You're married. And you have like great kids. You have your own career and other yeah. headaches. Like, we don't do the same thing. Every once in a while, like, like for people in the demo of the police, they mm -hmm. appreciate that the concert sells out like I'm that. But it, doesn't, that. It, but it doesn't right. happen all the I mean... We pick and choose our yeah. legend entertainment. That's and right. And unfortunately, yeah. like for a lot of us, Dice is not it to go to Madison Square Garden. But if he's five day, if he's doing a seven day run at comics, yeah, like like at three hundred people Fine. every night, seven days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. but he wants to sell out Giant Stadium. No, that's, that's his whole. That's yeah, right. yeah. the whole push is right. for the return. And, uh, and, uh, sitting there in his Toyota Corolla with three wheels on the side of the highway, yeah. going, "I'm going to be back there." It's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, bud. Yeah, Sorry, bro. but I. I appreciate him. Charlemagne um, um, is disrespectful, and he has that right. I like it, actually. But yeah. Charlemagne's yeah. 27 years old. He doesn't know nothing from Dice. Oh, yeah. Right, right. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. His oh, yeah. He was like, who are you? What are you and I can tell you something else. Um, you know, I was disappointed. I was just talking about this on my show yesterday in the way Jay-Z presented Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five when they won first hip-hop group to be in the Rock and Roll, Hall, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Mm. And this freaking joke, Cam Joe Camel is reading off a teleprompter. Whoa. You, uh, Go with your heart. Heart. Go with your heart, man. Thank you. Even Elvis understands that. Thank Jesus, you. you understand what I he's understand. Saying? Yes, sure. I do. He's reading off a teleprompter. This he's guy was the pioneer. Uh, oh, that's pissing you off. Just, I, I was just, uh, yeah, that's weak. Do you not like Jay Z? Yes, I like him. But oh. how can you not? That's like me presenting to Frankie Crocker in the yeah, Radio right. Hall of Fame and having to read off a freaking teleprompter. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, you got to go. He's one of my inside. forefathers, like laying the ground as far yeah. as you know. When you think of radio and you think right. of vets, at least for me, Frankie's always in that pot. Right. If I was going to present it, I, I would speak from the heart with passion, like right. I am now. Right. <laughs> I hear you. I just don't have that passion for anybody. <laughs> for me, except yourself. Yeah, you know what? Passion. Yourself. Is yeah. Unless it's about me, give me a teleprompter. Put it up on the screen. I'll read what you want me to read. <laughs> now this next guy coming in. As long in. as you get my good side. <laughs> uh, Wendy Williams is here. She's got a brand new book out. She's got a lot of things going on. She's not going anywhere. We're going to talk no. with her more after the break. Doghouse back in a moment. Wendy Williams is here. How you doing? Very good. Uh, 
Man, he's a, it's it's a pleasure to look at you. Now, yeah. you, you. you know that I would never disrespect your, your husband. Yes. He was probably tired of me saying that. Right. I was just drunk over at the station last time we hung There's out with a lot you. Going on. I go, yeah. you know, I never disrespect you, but man, the melons on Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you you know I only mean that with this, with the sincerest of. Can I do her, son? please, bro? And I I only mean that out of respect. Good thing he's a you nice got the guy. coolest husband. <laughs> he he is. He's great. He's yeah. very cool. And he definitely um, supports what I do, which yeah. is difficult in this business. No yeah. doubt. Mm -hmm. I mean, does your wife really understand? You she know? does. Yeah. yeah, she gets it. Yeah, That's why does. you married her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ultimately speaking, yeah, you got to make those kind of choices. And sometimes, right. you know, there's going to be things that that hurt a little bit. Yeah. You know, there's a couple of things that I brought up where it's like, you know what, that it, it hurts a little bit, and it's yeah. the past, and it's mm -hmm. old, and I just, yeah. you know, but for the most part, she's busy. She's always on auditions, and she has things, and you know, and she understands I do what I do. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I got the perfect partner for it as well. Does she ever come up here and meet you for lunch and stuff? Uh, all the time. Yeah. 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 That's nice. Yeah. Because then she has weird hours. You have weird hours. Right. Let's take some phones here. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna run out of time. Um, wow. See, Wendy, we don't get the same uh, sort of love though. John Minnelli comes back and like, what man is it? A, it's a I pleasure know. seeing you. He's always if, loved you if for we many years. Somehow make a trade and get these guys over to BLS, yeah. and you oh, hear, man, work. then I'm happy. Yeah, we'll work together. I yeah. know it. No, but you, you know, know what? In our, I, I had a meeting with him the other day. I go, where are we going with the future? He goes, I don't know. I am not a psychic. <laughs> and then with Wendy, he goes, I know one day we'll work in the future. You know, it'll be, it could be Wait, a different format. Wait, could what? be, but damn it, we're going to work together. Yes, you know what, though? She got her own locker already. You guys um, and me, guys, we've got some really cool radio uh, crime bosses because yeah, right. I don't know whether the listeners understand how catty and petty radio no. is. Yeah. Bosses don't normally allow, like, for me to be over here, for you to come over, for yeah. to, you know. Well, that would be dumb. Here's my feeling: you just be yourself and yes. make the friends that you make, yeah. and and you're and let you just let the people decide, right. you know, what where they want to go. You can't. I mean, you can't stop someone. If someone loves Survivor, they're going to love it. You right. can't yeah. stop them. You can't mm -hmm. go, don't, please, yes. don't, you know, don't watch Survivor. Exactly. They like what they like. Exactly. And we should be able to talk and hang. Exactly. And let's take some calls. Geronimo, Washington Heights. What's up, man? Uh, what? what? What's going on, buddy? Hey, I just wanted to say that it's a trip to hear you guys. I think it's wonderful. You know, I listen to radio 12 hours a day because that's my job. Mm -hmm. I never thought that I was going to hear both of my favorite shows in one, you know, one outing. I think it's great. Wow. Yes. Yes. I think the Dollhouse needs all the support they can get, you know? Oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. Yo, can you just let us beat up on us? <laughs> it is what it is, even at the doghouse. Hey, there was no, uh, I think Wendy needs a lot of help. Those guys need help, Wendy. And it was like, he was shooting up flares. Yeah. Help him, Wendy. Do you know other people? Safety net. David and Yonkers. What's up, Dave? Life preserver. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Hi, David. Huh? I lo love your show as well. Thanks. Uh, listen, I, I actually, um, uh, KB and Elvis had put out a question. Uh, who would you kiss? Was it the, I believe it was the ugliest fat woman or the sexiest he she? And it was uh, the same day I guess you were away on vacation because I actually called your show about it. The ugliest fat woman or the sexiest he she? The sexiest he she. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's a I question said. more for, I, I think, for a guy, though. Yeah, As a guy, would you, you know, a really fine well, let me ask she male you. Looks or, just like a chick. or a gross chick? Mm -hmm. You would kiss a she male. Hey, you don't have to say it. I I'd understand. waffle. I think I'd go yeah, for the female. Yeah, yeah. Both of you. You don't yeah I think I said I would. Oh, JB, but don't what if you so hard. No, I, I'm trying to remember, you know, what I said. Um, if I, it I, was, me too. If I said the truth or not. You know? Well, let me ask you this, because we do a people poll uh, <laughs> question during advice hour on my show, which mm -hmm. advice hour is between three and four. Today's, yesterday's question, I'll find out the results today. Um, would you give mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to an absolute stranger? Did I hear you guys talking about that? Yeah, yes, I did. Yes, I, get, I think you stole it again. from us. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no. Thanks. I'm kidding. I, I, I want to give credit. It was the day before. Who the show prep? It. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. She knows how to take our garbage yeah. and yeah. turn it into it's something, it's something beautiful. And I'll tell you what. I would have given you absolute credit. I could not Under think why I put it out there. Did you guys say seven out of ten New Yorkers said they would not do yeah. it? Yeah. Only three New Yorkers would pass Thirty-six percent said they would do it to a stranger. Something like that. Yeah. And then Elvis had uh, one decent line of the day. Oh, thank you. Um, how about a person laying outside an AIDS clinic? <laughs> <laughs> right? You got to walk right by that person. Just keep on, yeah. keep it moving. So, would you guys? I didn't hear what you guys actually said. I um, said I would. I'd do I it. said, you know what? New York has, has taught me a lot. In San Francisco, they turned me 
me into a big pussy, but in, in New York, instead of the mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, I do foot-to-the-mouth, hand-to-the-wallet. <laughs> if you're on the ground, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're I'm, just, yeah. easy, I'm doing a foot to your face yeah, and taking your wallet. Yeah, it's an easy yeah. pick. Another one's yeah. now. Right, right. Um, I, I, I'm not I, so sure. I'm I'm not, not sure I don't either. know. On the strength of the, the inner tissue on my cheek, because that's my nervous spot. Right. I Chew always it. have a little something open. Yeah, yeah, go. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not. I, mm -mm. Uh huh. Mm -mm. Yeah, so no, we, no, no. we know now if you're dying not to I'll you know, give you any. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some chest compressions, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With my mouth. <laughs> Oh, I thought the lips go there. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was pressing my hand down in her mouth I and failed. putting my lips on <laughs> The Red Cross told me the wrong thing, man. <laughs> Let's go to Scott in Queens. What's up, Scott? Hey, what's up, Doug? What? what? Come on. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, I'm going to holler at Wendy, man. Right. Hi, Scott. Uh, Wendy, how you doing? Good. I'm going to try and get you to remember me. You got me in trouble one day with my wife. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You was coming out of the uh, show you host in Plastinos and Collard Green. Okay. And I drive a Jaguar Stretch. Mm. Yes, I do remember White you. Work. Remember I gave you a ride with me, this little guy? Me and Charlemagne. Yeah, that was when yeah, he was brand new. Was a little coming out. Yeah. Man, I told him it's like the first time I seen you. I didn't know you was that, you know, stacked, you know? I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Whoa. I for totally forgot my wife's dinner. When they came up to show me, hi, man, what's up? Yo, ah, oh my gosh, you read me the riot act. Yo. Wow. Don't you ever, oh man. Wow. <laughs> Wendy, do you get tired of that? What? Thanks for the call. Like, guys, you know, constantly coming on to you. And I no, mean, they don't do that. I just think you're gorgeous. Yeah. I, Thank you. That's your personality, though, too. Yeah. They don't do that, no, though. No, I know. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, people. In all honesty, for people um, who know my show, I get told on a regular basis, you know, that I look like a man or, you know, criticism or whatever. And I am a tall woman, and I may have a flair a little bit for the different, right. you know, in terms of my presentation. But what I hear all the time when I see people in person, oh, my gosh. You're pretty. Yeah, You right. don't look like a, like you're pretty. So I would rather hear that in person. Yeah, right, And right. tell me I look like a man all day on the radio. <laughs> I don't care. And as far as men coming on to me, people don't come on to me like that. Uh -huh. I, I don't, I, I like it yeah, that they right. don't because I don't have to deal with any comments. People might look at me like they want to say something, and I don't right, know whether right. it's the intimidation factor with the height. I'm, I'm wondering in the in the business. I'm sure on the streets, like on the streets, I'm not, I wouldn't say anything, but I, I figure like, hey, I'm, I'm going in the studio, and she's coming in here. I, I have every right to voice my opinion. It's like right. the first time I saw you when you walked in, I was like, Wow. Hanging. Yeah. Wow. You see, the people coming on to you thing, let me tell you, it's a bitch. In my, <laughs> in my life, it's constant. Where you're at now is perfect. Hang but with it. But you know it. what? People are usually so... <clears throat> So not relaxed when they come in the studio with me. Yeah. That the last thing that they're thinking of verbalize is, oh wow, like they don't want to say anything out of order. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. They, so they don't. Right. So when and are we going like to be? It. When are we going to be uh, back on your show? You can't. Guy Black doesn't. We've been there. banned. Oh no! Yes. Oh my God, bastard! Yeah. He Who's likes, Guy Black? He, likes you. he does middays, and he's just starting out. Just let him get. Wait a minute! Away. Time, 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 to time, to time, to time, time out. Really, That's Guy like Black, the new midday guy, no. makes a call about your show. He does middays out of respect. I have to live with him. It's like I don't understand when you guys go off on Radio Chick. I'm like, whoa. We never did that. What are you talking about? Did we? I don't remember that. What are those? Wait, Monday. Bastards. I don't even. I don't think so. For you to bring something up I mean, up someone like that, prove it in a podcast yeah, or something. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm all support. Yeah. Right. I, like I, like I don't understand the, ah. those types of relation, those inner station relationships. I got gotcha. you. Know I mean? Like I like to work in a like a copacetic. Wait and a minute. Time out. So you right. think that it's it's an even fair trade for <laughs> you to come kick it here and work for me? And. No. Uh, under the uh, assumption that we had this, you know. That I wanted to be here. I do. Well, how long yeah. does Guy have, you know, oh, to you get guys. ratings? Or is he that bad, he the ratings? Well. To, oh, I'm sorry. You no, know he's doing well. well, doing well. This, well. Was he lying to me? He said that he, I mean, that he was a fan and that he would no, listen he to is. us between songs. He Guy. loves you. He does. So what's his problem? Stop. You brought it up. Stop. You so guys. you're going to let the mid guy tell you who you can have when on you're your a show? Star? Yep. Yep. Wow. Wow. You guys. We are on our way to becoming, the, next to you, the, the biggest radio thing in New York, and then you're going to let this guy ruin that. Right, because he's on his way out. Ruin anyway. our relationship. No. <laughs> I'm kidding, guy. Stop. Okay. Stop. Be honest with me. He's in your pocket right now, isn't he? He's. You brought him with he's you. He's right there. He's kicking you right now with his little boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little elevator shoes are right in your ribs. Wow, I didn't know that. That's a shocker to me. 
God, I'm sorry. I can't believe that. I was like, when, so when are we hanging out with you? Never. There, no. there will be a time we can come back, right, at one point? You can't tell them, get over it? Yeah. You guys, we're all, we're all, you know. I'm just asking a question. You can't tell them, get over it. I, I these I guys are my I friends. I don't want to. I can't. I can't. I can't. You can tell wow. them to grow up, but I see he's tried that and it's not working. Stop it. Oh, sorry. Okay, all right. Stop, okay, guys. just kidding. All right, so, uh, Wendy, tell me about the book really quick, yes. and then we have to get into the break, and we have uh, Lisa Ling next. Oh, okay. oh wow. Yeah. yeah. She's got a new relationship. She's getting married. Oh, is she? A businessman from Chicago. See, mm -hmm. I don't even want to talk to her. I now. was just reading that. Okay. She broke up with the guy from um, Pam Anderson's show. Remember? Um, yeah, I feel different about this. Do you? Elvis? Yeah, no, I Justin just want to go home. Yeah. So know, tell us about your book. We'll still be friends right. with your husband, though. Tell us about your book. He's cool. Yeah. What's your book's called? Oh, guys. What's the uh, book? Anyway, it's called um, <laughs> "Is the Bitch Dead or What?" And it's okay. it's um the, the follow up to my first novel, which came out in June. This is actually my fourth book. Wow. Do you actually and write this? How do you have the time? Karen Hunter is my p writing partner. Okay. okay. And she's the Pulitzer Prize winning. She's got a lot of respect in the book world, so right she on. she makes it. Very, very palatable to be able to get through, you know, writing and, mm -hmm. and get past editing and yeah, whatnot right. quickly. Good, good. And then, so between the two of us, you know, we get it done. That's nice. And um, so this character, Ritz Harper, is a jock in New York at WHOT, and she's got a very, very big mouth. And, you know, she, she big yeah. mouths a lot of celebrities in a very negative way. You see the cover of the book is her yeah, right. being, she's so got the blood right. on her. So. Anyway, she's not dead, obviously, because there'd be no book. But mm -hmm. um, it's through the trials and tribulations of her. She's in her mid-30s. She makes more money than she knows what to do with. Mm. Um, she does drugs. She does who she wants sexually. Sweet. And she's very, um, she's cold. She's got a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. That midday guy does, too. You know, yeah, you, oh, you, you, should, guys. Oh, you, you should be ashamed to pull that childish, you, you know. know. What yeah. about me, Wendy? Uh, I'm uh, trying to build myself a career. Look at this. i got to go to the program director. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to the program director. I'm real P.O. Wendy, it's me. I'm down here at your ankles. Come on, Wendy. Get him off your show. We're kidding you. That's Look at her. weak. She's totally hurt. Is he going to take us seriously? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to take us seriously, right? Oh. Why do people do this in this business? Uh, I don't know, but it, they, people do it. I, I can't be a well, party to go it. go back. You're the star oh. of that station and tell him to deal yeah, with it. Yeah, aren't you the station? You're the big star of the I station. Have I have to go. I have to go, you guys. All right, fine. You're messing okay. me up. All okay, right. well, we didn't mean to. Guy, we're yep. kidding. No. We're I kidding. Love, we love you. I love you guys. All right, well, thank you, uh, Wendy oh. Williams, very much. <laughs> We appreciate you coming in. Right. And for any of the people that were looking forward to us going and hanging with Wendy, uh, no, that's not happening. Guy's yeah. not going to allow it. Yeah, there'd be a temper tantrum. Yeah, what? Guys, have a drink. I mean, what if he said yeah. something like, "I'll quit," and then you say, "Quit." Then. Thank God. <laughs> you guys, I have to go. All right, all right. Thanks, all right. Wendy. All right. Is the bitch right. dead or what? Damn it. New book. Go get it. Mm. My website's WendyWilliamsExperience.com. But go. I'm going to talk uh, to everybody because they listen to you. And yeah. then some people, you know, do the, um, wait, what do the guys in the morning call that when they walk over to um, the, the walkover? Walk the walkover. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. They, they listen to you guys and then they do the listen over. And so I'll talk to everybody. At hey, can we have Guy Black on like Monday? <laughs> 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 well, I was going to say, if it yeah. happens to be his day off. Yeah, guy, give us a call, bro. Yeah. Let's iron out these differences, man. All right. <laughs> it, it's I love fine. the little guy. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you too, Wendy. <laughs> Thank you so much, but you right. know I can't be a party. Please, so, are you going to, um, uh, you're going to at least like, uh, give a shout out to us and, and yes! okay. give out my webpage this yeah. year. <laughs> doghousefans.com okay. on your show. Okay. And then and then mention go there's this little guy who, uh, no, who's I'm not, black. I'm not doing that. Uh, I can't do that. Oh, okay. We're enjoy the champagne though and we will. enjoy thank the Alizé right. and stuff. Right. I know I you know, we all like to drink so. Yeah. Yes, we right. do. Wendy Williams, thank you very much. Doghouse back in a moment. Bye guys. Doghouse with JB and Elvis will be back sooner than